What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach with Android Digest and if you have a Chromebook and if you're looking for a stylus, I wanted to make this video for you to help you find a USI stylus. So a lot of these newer Chromebooks, they've been supporting these USI styluses but there haven't been a lot of styluses out and once they finally became available, I noticed there just aren't a lot of videos really explaining what's out there and the benefits and the pros and the cons of all these styluses. So I wanted to do a quick comparison video for you to let you know what I think of different styluses. And I picked four styluses from Amazon and I've got the links in the description. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm gonna have a nice comparison. I've got one from Moco. I've got one from Lenovo. I've got one from iPlume. And also I've got one from a company called Vital ASC. So with all that being said, let's get straight into this comparison and let's get it going. All right, so I've got these four USI styluses here and they do range in price. So they start out at $30 and they go up to around $50. And you're gonna wonder what differentiates them. Well, for one, you need to know that some of these come with extra stylus tips in the box, some do not. Some have these little buttons, right, that are on the pins. And these buttons, well, they don't really work yet because Chromebooks have not actually worked with erase buttons or anything like that, but they may work to erase things in the future. So these buttons may have actual functions. You may also see pins with different tips as well. So some pin tips, they're a little bit looser. Some are a little more firm. And you're also gonna notice another thing and that is how they charge. So I've got four pins here and three of them charge with quadruple A batteries but there's one pin that really differentiates itself and that is the vital ASC pin and that's because it charges with micro USB now I know what you're thinking micro USB what is this 2015 or something and I know I know I know USB-C has been the norm for a very long time so for me I don't even have a micro USB charger in my house but the good news is this pin did come with a micro USB charger so some of us we don't have quadruple a batteries on hand it's not something we normally deal with so that's why this pin can be handy because you could take that micro USB charger you could just put it in a drawer and whenever you finally need to charge this which by the way this pin should last roughly six months on a charge at least according to the Amazon description so if you only have to charge this pin like twice a year that's not too bad at all so if you unscrew the top here that's how you get to the charge port you'll see it is a micro USB charger and when you look at this pin the other thing that really differentiates it well two things. For one, you have this little clip here and that's just really nice if you're putting it in a bag, if you're putting it in your pocket or really anywhere. That's a good way to help secure the stylus. But you also have this tip here. Now this tip is a little bit looser so some people are really going to like that. Some people are going to want something a little more firm but some people like a pin tip that's a little loose because when you are drawing it could feel a little more like a pencil in some ways because you actually have to press down a little bit to actually get the screen to react. So that could be a good thing for some people a bad thing for others. So if we look at this here, you will see these buttons. Again, this pin, it has these two buttons and they don't work for anything really yet. You just have to hold the buttons to actually get the device to turn on. And once it turns on, it'll automatically connect to a Chromebook if it's nearby. And then you just draw right away. And I decided to draw on the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2. When I used this pin, there wasn't much input lag at all. It felt very, very smooth and good to draw with. And everything just felt really good whenever I was drawing with this pin. So I really like this pin overall. I think the big thing, if you're looking at this pin, you're gonna have to ask yourself, do I need these buttons? Do I want to future-proof myself by getting these? You might ask yourself if you want this loose stylus tip. And by the way, if you don't like it, there are multiple stylus tips that do come in the box. So that's a benefit of this pin as well. And you have to ask yourself if you want to deal with micro USB. Some people won't. On the other end, it is a big benefit if you do not want to deal with those quadruple A batteries because again, a lot of people just don't keep those on hand. So the next stylus I want to talk about is this Lenovo stylus. And it really is appealing because it retails at about $30. And that's an amazing price for this, especially when you consider some other pins could be at $40 or $50. So you might be wanting to save some money. And this pin, it's really not missing a lot. So it does 
does charge again with those quadruple A batteries or it does run off them. So you can replace those. They're just very replaceable batteries by again, just screwing off the top here. And then you could replace those batteries as needed. Now, the one thing you need to know about this pin, it doesn't come with any extra pin tips, okay? So the pin tip is very solid here. It doesn't move around quite as much. It's not quite as loose. So again, that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on who you are, but you cannot replace these. At least it doesn't come with any replaceable pin tips. And when I look online, well, I couldn't find any either. And I couldn't find any for this stylus. Now, I have no idea what pin tips would work. And if you could buy some for another stylus, if they would work, I tried the ones that came with all of my styluses and none of them worked with this Lenovo pin. So keep in mind that yes, you probably could replace the pin tip, you just have to find them. So since you can't find them, you may not be able to replace them at all. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, the one other thing this pin is missing is those eraser buttons. So if the software really catches up on Chromebooks and allows you to start erasing things, well, you will not be able to use this pin to do it. You're not gonna be able to press a button and start erasing stuff. You're not gonna have that you're not gonna have extra pin tips, but this does feel great in the hand. It feels very good. It feels like a good, normal, sturdy pin. And there's not a lot of input lag either whenever you are drawing. It felt very much like the Vital ASC pin and the other pins that I tested. So overall, this is a great pin for those of you that are on a budget and you're just looking for a more affordable stylus. Just keep in mind that it is missing some potential features in the future and it may be harder to replace those tips if you did need to replace the pin tips in the future. Now here's another stylus by iPlume and this is a really nice red color by the way so if you're looking for some color this would be a great stylus for that. Now if you look at this pin tip you're going to notice right away it's a little bit thinner than the other ones. Now this one does come with an extra pin tip as well so the good news is you could replace it. This also runs off quadruple A batteries so it should last for quite a long time. By the way all of these pins should last for a decent amount of time, at least a few months before you're gonna have to replace any batteries. So that's a good thing as well. And this pin, well, it does have these buttons, so you're not gonna miss a lot of things with this pin. It's gonna be very future-proofed, which is good. There's not a lot of input lag as well, so whenever I was drawing with this pin, I found that it worked very well. Again, I cannot draw, by the way. I'm really, really bad at drawing. I'm not a super great artist, but in my initial testing with this pin, again, all of these pins, they are working well with pressure sensitivity. That means if you draw a little harder, it's going to respond to that, or if you're drawing quicker, it's going to respond to that and it's going to show up a little bit darker than if you were just drawing very slowly and lightly. So I found that I had no issues with any of that stuff, right? And this pin worked very well. So you're gonna have to ask yourself if you're looking at this pin, do you want a pin that charges with like micro USB or do you want something that uses batteries? Because if you don't mind it charging with batteries or if you like it running, I should say, off battery power, you get a future-proof pin because it does come with these buttons here and that'll be great because if again, Chromebooks do update their software and they update it to support those buttons, then hey, you're gonna be able to erase things with your pin, which will be pretty cool. So this is a good contender overall. And again, I really like the color for those of you who are looking at that. And this last pin, it is very great as well. It is the Moco pin. And I absolutely love the design of this stylus. It's an awesome black. And this pin, it just feels a little more heavy than the other pins I've tested so far. Now this pin, I would say is an A plus on the design. I really like the design of the pin a little more than all the other styluses I've tested. And I like the color a lot too. Now, one of the negatives of this pin is the fact that it doesn't have those buttons. So if in fact they update the USI software in the future to be able to erase things, this pin will not be able to do it. And I also love the pin tip. Now the pin tip is a little bit loose. So if you like a pin tip that's a little more firm, keep that in mind, you may not like this, but I think a lot of people do like a pin tip that's a little loose because again, it can help it feel a little bit more like a pencil or a pen. And when you're using this, you're gonna notice the weight is a little more in this stylus compared to other styluses. So I really did like the weight of this as well and the look. So I really just like the aesthetics of this device in a lot of ways. And again, this does use one quadruple A battery. So keep that in mind as well, depending on how you wanna charge your pin. Now this
this does come with another pin tip as well. So that is a bonus there, does come in the box. So I had a great experience with all of these pins and I didn't have any lag with the Moco pin at all. I didn't have any lag with really any of these pins. Now, admittedly, I used them all in Google Chrome and I used Google Keep through the Google Chrome web browser and I used the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook too. So different devices act a little bit differently. Every device is gonna act differently with Android apps as well. So keep in mind again that Chromebooks are optimized to work with Google Chrome. So if you can manage it, if your note-taking app allows it, I would recommend trying to open it up in Google Chrome by just going to the website for that app. Like Google Keep, for example, it has a website, which is keep.google.com. And I would recommend going to that rather than just going to the Android version of that app. Your experience may vary depending on what you use your stylus for and what Chromebook you have, because I've noticed that some Chromebooks do act a little bit different with different styluses. But in my testing on this Chromebook, all of these styluses performed very, very well. And if you're deciding on which one to buy for yourself, I think you just have to look through this video and look carefully at the different features. Do they come with stylus tips? Do you need stylus tips? Are you just looking for the most affordable one? Well, if that's the case, the Lenovo is the one for you. But if you want to replace stylus tips, that's an important factor. If you want to recharge, maybe you don't want to deal with batteries. Well, that means the Vital ASC one might be good. And maybe you want these buttons here because I really believe these buttons could be a good thing in the future of Chrome OS. If you want that, well, you are limited, at least with my comparison to this Vital ASC pin here or this iPlume pin here. But you may care more about having an awesome looking design, right? That's the Moco pin, right? It just looks so good. I love the black look of this and I also love the feel of it as well. So when you think about all these things, you have to ask yourself, do I want a pin tip that's a little loose? Do I want extra pin tips? What type of design do I want? Do I want a smaller pin, a bigger pin? What am I looking for, right? So feel free to look through this video, make that decision for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel that does help me out also follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash digest android i really need more twitter followers and i want people who like android and chromebook and stuff like that so please give me a follow there now i want to give a quick disclaimer all of these i bought for myself except this vital asc pin but i was not paid to give a good review i just keep it real with my people right and i do have links in the description that are affiliate links if you use those, it may help my channel as well. So check out all my other videos as well and have a great day, have a great week in all of these crazy, crazy times.